Good morning everyone, how are you doing on this beautiful Wednesday morning? It's a great beautiful day here in Ohio, it's actually supposed to be almost close to 70 today, but then the bottom's gonna fall out of this bad boy guys. It's uh, I think they said low Thursday night going into like Friday is gonna be like in the 20s, and then it looks like we're gonna rebound again uh, this weekend going into next week. But uh, I wanted to make this video because we did not have the chance to respond to all of the comments last night on the mulch force and some of the things that it offers price range uh, as of yesterday I did not know the price range of it like I told you guys in yesterday's video that was Dan's uh, mulch force okay that's his multi force we just went out to check it out because he literally had just picked it up uh, so we went out checked it out and uh, long story short I didn't know the price of it so I messaged our dealer Ruben out of Schlebach and now deal Ruben is a select dealer for Toro okay so that means they get different pricing than all the other Toro dealers but at Rubens I don't know if it's the same everywhere it very well could be but at Rubens you're looking at $1599 so $1599 uh, before tax and all that stuff out the door that unit will also only fit on the multi force okay it won't fit on any other machine it's select just for the multi force the mulch force is for the multi force okay so you'll have to have that mower to put that mulch, the mulch bucket onto it. Uh, the poundage, guys, I stated in yesterday's video that it can lift 250 pounds. Uh, that is rated by Toro. So it's right there on the sticker on the machine. Uh, I know it was later in the video, so some of you may have clicked out beforehand uh, before that part came up. So that thing is at 250 pounds. Also, a lot of you said, well, how hard is it to remove? Well, it's just a couple pins you pull out, guys. Now, I will say from looking at it and as heavy duty as that bucket is built, you're probably going to need two people to lift it up off of there once you pull those two pins. But it's just a couple pins, guys. You know, just a quick, uh, a couple little uh, detached little pins that slide in there and you're free to go. You can mow with that bucket on there also. Now, it's going to limit a little bit of your visibility. But, you know, if you're not wanting to take it off just to knock out a real small yard or you know, if you need to do some mowing and do some mulch or dirt or move some rock, whatever, you're gonna be able to do that. So that's really cool and very convenient. Now I know some of you were saying, oh, the bearings on the front, that thing's gonna be destroyed in no time. Well guys, they've had many attachments out for the multi-force over the years. They got a blower out, they got a snow blower, they got a plow out, uh, you know, they have all kinds of different tools. Uh, an aerator, I mean there's there's really heavy duty things that they put on the front of that thing so I don't think the bearings uh, are gonna be an issue whatsoever. Uh, I haven't heard of anybody having issues with the front ends on them or bearings. Now with anything just like a you know a fifty sixty thousand dollar truck if you're plowing with it you know you're working it things are gonna wear out over time it's just natural it's a machine they're gonna break down okay so don't think you know this thing will never have a problem it could definitely have a problem at some point but being a brand new machine, you're working it every day. I don't see you having a problem with it for quite a while, okay? And I'm sure Toro has a pretty good warranty on there to cover any things that might break. Uh, Savannah just texted me and said I need to give her a call. So, yeah, just wanted to run over a few things. Let's hop into the video. Here in a little bit, we do need to fix the ramp going into the shed. So that'll probably be coming up here in just one minute.
<laughs> Alright guys, so Miley told us we need to start a TikTok. My niece Keisha said, you guys gotta start a TikTok. I was very hesitant against it for a long time, but TQ started the TikTok, okay? So if any of you want to follow us, I'll put the link down in the description. You can follow us over on TikTok. Miley's currently about to direct a TikTok. She said, uh, she, yeah, she's got to teach us how to do this whole TikTok-y <laughs> thing. So anyways, Sean Boy's going to be the uh, star of the show, I guess, and they're going to make a tiki talk. so... All right, guys, so if you remember, our ramp sank down quite a bit here, so we brought in some more material. Go forward a little bit. Right there. Hold on. Hold on. Go forward. Right 
think we're almost good, honestly. What's something funny real quick? Never mind. <laughs> Come on, tell me. They want to hear your funny story too. Um, so there I was going to the bus on um, at school. Yeah. I saw this coin on the on the ground, so I picked it up right when I picked it up it snapped and half and glitter came everywhere. Really? <laughs> yeah. What was it? Um a like coin from the leprechaun I think for the preschoolers. <laughs> a leprechaun, huh? What's a leprechaun? A green thing at the end of the... <laughs> <laughs> Did you find that pot of gold? No. No? Let me tell you what. Huh? That big pile of wood, if you move it all, there's a pot of gold. It's five bucks. What do you think about that deal? You move all that wood for five bucks, is that a deal? Yeah, give me a chainsaw first. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> chainsaw. I'll tell you what, it doesn't get much more of a beautiful day in the state of Ohio. The sun is out. It's about 70 degrees, a little breeze blowing, birds are chirping, and the grass is starting to turn green, guys. Even though Teddy put a bunch of yellow spots in my yard, so I'm going to have to fix those because I like my yard looking really, really good. And, uh, yeah, I like to dominate my neighborhood. No, I'm just kidding. Anyways, guys, as always, the uh, hats and any merch or links, anything, will be down in the description. We appreciate all you following along. We have a ton of new followers that have came aboard. Welcome, welcome to the channel. I'm Sean. My wife is TQ or Savannah. They give her, they call her TQ for Trimmer Queen. Not given to her by me. Given to her by our subscribers. But, uh... Yeah, guys, I'm gonna sit out here and enjoy the rest of the day and edit on this video. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQ out. Peace. Bye.